I was at a manufacturing company the other day and they're looking at some pretty sophisticated and pretty expensive software and automation that could significantly reduce their costs and improve their operation. The problem is, my assessment is, they're just not ready. They're just not ready culturally. It's not that they don't have the money to go buy this. It's that it's not going to work. See, when I walked around the shop floor, the person who was giving me the tour didn't even seem to know the names of anybody on the floor. At least she didn't introduce me to anyone. Nobody made eye contact with me. They just kept their heads down and did their work. The workstations themselves weren't messy, but they weren't particularly organized. And they weren't organized in a similar way across workstations. People weren't doing things in a similar way. Even people with very similar jobs weren't doing things the same way. So it seemed like there wasn't a defined process, or at least there wasn't the discipline around following that process. They weren't measuring things. There was no boards of metrics and things. When I asked about things like efficiency and scrap, the leader I was with didn't seem to know or care about those numbers, which are very common in manufacturing. There's other things to measure, but those are some basics. So this isn't an organization that seems particularly well suited to bringing in something pretty expensive that's going to need to be used in a certain way every time. It's going to require the discipline of the team to follow that specific process. It's the software is going to require that team to give very specific inputs and value putting correct data into the system so that they can get correct data and results out. And it doesn't seem like this is a team that's ready to do that. Anytime you bring automation into a manufacturing facility where there's low trust, my experience is that people immediately think, well, that automation is going to replace my job. And if there's not a high level of trust, well, then management can't come out and say, oh, no, no, this is going to help us grow our business. See, we're all in this together. We're, our interests are aligned. When this business grows, which this tool will help us, then we'll improve, you'll improve, we'll all improve. Everyone's better off for having implemented this tool. So let's go. So that's not going to happen. People are going to be afraid of that. Well, and if they're afraid of it and don't trust it, well, how good of information are they going to use? How careful are they going to be with that tool? See, now you're at least not going to get the benefit of that tool and maybe it's going to get damaged and need repair and replacement. So that's expensive. So instead of saving money, now it's costing you money. See, this isn't a team that seems like they communicate well. People didn't seem aligned with each other and they didn't seem engaged in their work. So it's not just this company. See, this felt like they're trying to get a shortcut. They're trying to go and rather than deal with people issues, they're going to go buy something, get something, some software, some automation that will move them forward. Now, this isn't exact math by any stretch, but I'll give you a sense of how I think about this. And it's kind of that 80-20 principle. So I would suggest rather than spending, say, 80% of a certain amount of money and getting a 20% improvement in your operation, that you could flip that around and instead they'd be far better off to spend the 20% of an investment that it might cost to do this system and get an 80% improvement. So if you do the kind of hard work with people and improve their engagement in their work, approve their alignment with the company and start communicating more, caring about them, building relationships with them. Well, that stuff isn't expensive in dollars, but it's expensive in effort and emotional labor. You've got to commit to helping them and commit to caring about them. But if you do that, it's very inexpensive, but it can deliver big results. And the even better news is it can get you to a place where now you are ready to spend money on some software or some automation and then get that additional benefit for that pretty big additional cost. And it isn't just this company. This is a good example and a pretty clear example in a manufacturing environment of somebody looking to take a shortcut. But I see it in other places. Enterprise resource management, ERP, or sorry, resource planning, ERP systems are a very popular shortcut. The problem here is we don't have an ERP system. Or the problem here is we need a new ERP system. 
The problem isn't our people aren't aligned or engaged or believe in the system in a way that they're putting good information in so we can get good information out. The problem is we don't have the best system or the newest system or any system. Well, that's just not true. That's a shortcut. You're trying to let money buy the culture that you need and thinking that, well, if you have the tool, people will have to use the tool the right way. Well, no, they don't and they won't. Sales is another place where we see this with a CRM, a customer relationship management system, where if we just had the right CRM or getting a new CRM, then we'd grow our sales. Well, no, you won't, because again, it's not the tool, it's the way the people use the tool. And if they're not aligned with the business, if they're not engaged in their work, and if there's no communication and there's no trust, there's no relationship, it's not gonna matter what tool you have, people aren't gonna use it or aren't gonna use it well, and you're just not gonna get the results that you expected. You're gonna make a big investment to not get the results you wanted. No return on that investment, no ROI. So what can we do here? Well, this manufacturing company, I would strongly suggest, should start working on their team. And it's probably a couple year project, maybe a three or four year project to get that team to the place where they could use a sophisticated system. In the meantime, there's just no sense getting that system. It's not gonna get used. You're not gonna get results and it's probably gonna even get damaged. And for other companies, think about your company. Where in your organization or where on your team have you been thinking maybe about a shortcut or something that now you can think about as a shortcut? That if we just had a tool, we could move forward. Are you really culturally ready to use that tool? Is that tool really the thing holding you back? Or are there other, frankly, less expensive things you could be doing to move forward? So think about that in your business and look for it in other businesses that you see. Or when you hear people talking about what they're doing in another department or another company where they're talking about getting their new tool. And just think about, is that culture ready for that new tool? Because if they're not, they're not going to get the results. So focus on your team, build that communication, work on your alignment engagement. Don't look for the shortcut with the fancy new tool.